it's Matty coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video. And welcome to Fable Vault, a PlayStation 5 park. Now, today I'm extremely excited to have a special guest with me. I have the incredible creator of Fantasy Falls. Now there are some that say she goes to sleep every night with a little mermaid on in the background and she named all of her pets after Disney characters. If you don't believe me, just ask Rumple Tiltskin and Woody. I have Clary Bread, say hello Claire. <laughs> hello everybody, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm very excited to look around this park. It, it looks truly stunning. Oh, it is absolutely insane. Such a beautiful park. But let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So the description reads, Welcome to Fable Vault, my second park. With a ton of help from my lovely girlfriend, I am proud to present this jam-packed and detailed fantasy park. Dive into this magic world inspired by old German architecture and lore. Explore the castle, courts and forests, but don't go too deep. You never know what you might find. Fable Waltz is best viewed at 10.45am or 6am for the coasters. Special thanks to Hobo Billy for his truly horrifying contribution of darkness. So beware. So, without further ado, let's hop into this park, shall we? So, here we are at the park entrance. Now, Claire, just before we hop into this park... I understand that you have just done a PS5 expansion of Fantasy Falls, have you not? I have, I finished it a couple of days ago, long slug over Christmas. Oh, I, I can't wait to see it. I'm actually going to do a spotlight that will come out on Friday. So anybody that hasn't actually seen Fantasy Falls, I will leave a link down below for the PS4 version. And then on Friday, we will have a look around the PS5 expansion. So extremely excited for that. But let's get back to this park and what a park this is. Now, I've only had a very quick look around. I haven't looked in full detail. But just straight away as you come out the entrance tunnel, I mean, look at this fountain that we've got here. It's I... truly beautiful. There's so many just, just details everywhere. Every area has got something going on and something beautiful to look at. It's just stunning. Absolutely breathtaking. And you can tell the type of park that it's going to be just from the entrance alone. When you look at the foliage work that has gone on around here. Now... I did speak to Albris, the creator of this park, and he informed me that his girlfriend did a lot of the foliage. Now, what I think that actually means is that his girlfriend did the park and he's trying to take credit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> do, do you want to know something, Claire? What? Albris bullies me all the time. He is so, <laughs> so mean to me all the time. He says lots of mean things all the time, but then asks me to do a oh, spotlight. I don't know if I believe that. No, I no, think, no. I I'm going to screenshot you. Going on. No, I'm going to screenshot you some of the things that he says to me. He's such a bully, I'm telling you. But he's a good creator, so it's fine. I'll let him off. I mean, Very good creator. These buildings are lovely. And I love what's going on on top of the dragon. It's a little house. Now, according to Tommy P, not Tommy P, Tommy CM, they are elephants, apparently. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <they're laughs> I'm glad that you agree with me on that one. I was like, <laughs> what? Um, I can't remember where he said. I think it may have been in um, the fantasy park that Chrissy P did when he spotlighted it and he said there were elephants, and I was just sat there belly laughing. I'm like, they're not elephants. <laughs> I mean, I did. I'm not going to lie, though. Me and Tommy P, not Tommy CM, Tommy P, were having a conversation the other day about if I could turn one of them into Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, then. Confirmed, it is an elephant. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't turn it into one, though, so maybe uh, not. <laughs> I, I'm just admiring all this architecture. I, it's I stunning. I can't quite get over what Albus's girlfriend has done here. She's just <laughs> done absolutely amazing. I mean, Albus, I don't know what you did in this park, to be honest. I, I kind of think that Warren, your missus, did most of the work. Well done, Warren. Hang on, we need to just stop. Well done, Warren. Great job. Great job Brand with this park. But, so, we're coming up to a coaster straight away. Now, there's only two coasters in the park, but we've got the first one here. So, we've got Tallman. 
or tall man? Tall man? Tall man? We'll go tall with tall man. man. We'll, we'll go with I tall man. Tall I think it's just my stupid accent, to be honest. <laughs> Look at this. I know there's so many sites everywhere around this area when I was having a little look around earlier I just kept stopping and getting distracted oh this is insane now I haven't looked in the level of detail that I know that you have I had a very quick fly around to try and get my bearings before we did the spotlight and that's it so a lot of these intricate details I have yet to see so a lot of this is going to be the first time for me but look at this station it's just very pretty as I've said so many times before, simple and effective. It's not mm. absolutely mental. There's not thousands and thousands of pieces placed here. It's just very tactfully done, but it works beautifully. And so much in such a small area, he's really created a lot of depth. Like if you turn back around to look at the flowers the other way. You can see through his left little archways to show the brick behind and it just gives that other area like area of depth which makes it feel bigger yeah yeah i couldn't agree with you more it's just fantastic work i always associate you with being one of the best foliage creators on the console there's a couple of people when i think foliage that spring to mind so you have silver punker you have yourself you have jasmine from m and j games who always kind of like spring to mind when I think of foliage, but the foliage in this work is just superb. Really, 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 done. really nice. But and anyway. using the seaweed as well. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I could talk about foliage a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, well, you haven't named the ride. It's just called Canyon Runner. So there you go. This park sucks, Albris. Oh, <laughs> get in the bin. So it's not green across the board. Does anybody actually care? Uh, looking no. at this park nobody cares so without further ado let's go for a ride on this enjoy everybody So there we go. So Claire, what were your thoughts? Really lovely. So many like little details all the way around that he's made with the characters and everything. And the coaster itself was actually really quite nice. Not too long, just really good. Yeah, I, what impressed me the most, I think, was how compact it felt. It takes up a really small footprint, but it's constantly interacting with each other. And mm. look at this tree here. That's no tree. I'm an ant. <laughs> so I've got nice an Lord of there. the Rings reference. Then. Oh, there you go. it had to be done. Had to be done. And we've also got this creature over here as well. Now, me and Claire were just discussing this, and we can't actually tell what it's supposed to be. Maybe just a mythological creature or something like that. But it's just fantastically done with the tree pieces mm. and branches. Just looks fantastic. Really and effective and you can tell it's trying to be some form of like tree creature mm -hmm. it, it looks right and fitting in the context of what he's done it's nice yeah and i love the fact that there's a rolling river as well like kind of coming all the way around as well so it kind of mm. starts there and it kind of like comes around the ride as well just really nicely done used to great effect yeah fantastic absolutely brilliant coaster really smooth really compact some well, I was going to say great inversions, but obviously, of course, that does not have inversions. But what a small footprint that takes mm. up as well. Just But when fantastic. you're on it, it feels so much bigger. Very cleverly done. Yeah, I, I really do like 
rides along them lines, the ones that have the interactions with themselves. But anyway, let's hop on, shall we? And let's go down here, down the exit. And we come out the exit, and again, we're just greeted by these beautiful buildings, just with these differing colours and the trimming that Warren has done on these. Sorry, Aldris. <laughs> so we She's in all the icing pieces, though. Really clever, changing the colour of them. Well, they, the, the Christmas pieces, but in this context, they just feel very fairy tale. It's really nice. It's, it's just amazing. I, I can't believe this, to be honest. It's just so beautifully done. And we've got a wheel here. Now, how do we get to the entrance of that? Zoom out time. Um, Zoom out time. Right, it must be through the building up there. It must be. That's I was going to say, a lot of things go through buildings. Um, when I was having a look around earlier, it's, it's hidden a lot really well to just keep it all looking really beautiful. The queue lines are mainly inside, so... I, look at that, Claire. It's beautiful. That just is... Just making me smile. It's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. I cannot believe this has been built on a console. This feels like a Channel 5 gaming, top of the range PC, hundreds of thousands of piece count park. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. I can't quite get over what I'm seeing. Just fantastic. I don't even know where to start. There's that many places to go, that many things to look at. I could spend half an hour just in this open courtyard alone, just admiring every single building in intricate detail, just because they are that detailed. I mean, I'm getting so sidetracked. Just look at this. <laughs> it's it's lovely. And I, I mean, there's just so many extra details that, you know, aren't necessary, but help create the world. Like even just this middle section with all the water down the middle, the details on the bridge, it, you can imagine that in front of a castle like that, you would have a very grand area and the money's been invested because the royals are around and he's taken the time to pimp the bridge and it feels right. They certainly spared no expense, that's for certain, in this park. Yeah. It's certainly not a cheap park. And like you said, just the amount... Of, I mean... He's even put that at the end as well. Just everything, thinking of these little details everywhere. It's just so intricately done. In intricate. That word. That word, yeah. Claire. You know what I'm trying to that say. That word. I uh, do indeed. Just, I, 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 honestly, I could spend ages in here, but we haven't got the luxury of ages, I'm afraid, because we now need to try and crack on with this spotlight. Just, oh, honestly, it's just insane absolutely insane but let's walk through here so we've got a queue line here so let's walk up here just even the weeds on the floor look mm. just foliage everywhere and this just brings us up to a flat ride just hidden yep really hidden well around the back you'd have no idea that was there either would you from the other side no. you would have absolutely no idea so well integrated into the building work and I, I love the queue and the exit. So simply done. Mm. But it's the thing about this park I noticed when I was looking about before. There's so many different levels. Levels have been used so well. It just constantly changes, takes you up, takes you back down again. And it makes everything feel a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. um, really nice. I mean, it's not actually a massive park, really. On the whole grand scheme of things, if we have, if we have a quick zoom out... It's not a massive park, to be honest. It's, I wouldn't say it's a small park, but I wouldn't say it's like a mega park or anything like that. No. I've certainly seen a lot bigger parks, but because of the depth and the range that Albus has gone into in this park, it just feels so much bigger than what it is. I mean, when you look at this, for example, it just makes the park look absolutely huge. Mm. So... Right, we're going to stick left and we're going to come up here. So, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going. That looks like an exit. So, here we go. Right entry. So, this is for another flat ride just inside here. Once yeah. again, just the queue line. Just the decoration. Just 
amazing. Absolutely really amazing. So let's hop straight out the exit. Just flying the camera around there, Matty. Just giving everyone <laughs> motion sickness. Apologies, everybody. Right, there you go. Smooth action. There we go. I, I love that. It's really, really well done. I love that you can see it from this side as well. Yeah. So people can walk past and you can imagine all the kids standing there and being like, I want to go on the ride. Let me like this woman ride. here, like... I mean, yeah. this woman, she, well, she's admiring her fingernails now, but she was, <laughs> she was loving it. She was like sat there, there you go, she's cheering her. Yeah, go on. She's loving it. Oh, it's, oh hang on, she's cheering him. Never mind. <laughs> hang on, we've got another one. We're being attacked by Christmas plip cams. Right, so I love all the signs everywhere as well, you know. Mm. The signs are so I like so a sign in a done. park. It adds I so much like more, it. doesn't it? Just helps you earn it orient yourself around as well yeah was i get a bit lost right so let's go down here i mean this spotlight will be under an hour it will be because all my spotlights have to be under an hour but i could spend hours in this park claire just admiring I it all. I, I did earlier i spent ages and it was just meant to be a quick look and before i knew it i'd been in the park for about 45 minutes having a little look around just like wow how's he done that I mean, I've, I've stressed before the importance of going and checking out these parks for yourself. Of course, you will watch Spotlights by myself and other creators such as Tommy, CM and Michael and Jasmine. But you sometimes you just need to go and experience these parks yourself for the feelings that they will give you. It's mm. all well and good watching Spotlights, but until you actually experience it yourself, it's, it's just something else. It really is. And, and this is the type of park that needs to be downloaded and an experience for yourself it really does and look at this and can we just appreciate the wonky towers as someone that tried to do beetlejuice doing wonky in this game is really difficult and these are wonderful <laughs> really well done crazy and just using the hedge pieces for a queue like kind yeah. of a a medge haste a medge haste a medge haste <laughs> Oh, Not a, a med haze. One. That's a new word. A hedge maze in English, there right? English. Not a med hedge. <laughs> I don't know what one of them is. <laughs> it sounds like something from The Witcher. <laughs> I haven't watched season two yet, so I need to. I need to get oh, on with oh, well. that. It's good. I need to crack on with good. that. But I love the fact that you can see this coaster as well, all around as well. The coaster just interacts with so much. I, f I feel like there's so many places we can go, Claire. I feel there like... is there's there's little points everywhere little hidden sections i mean this is just a nice little food court but again it's decorated differently to everything else so it feels like its own zone it feels really secluded as yeah. well it's i mean like if you were to just sat woodland. here and you just look around it's so secluded and it'd be so quiet and just their moments of tranquility and peace when you're in the park well, with the exception mm. of a coaster going past you, of course. But besides yeah, that... Yeah, but it's a nice sight. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. But let's carry on walking around here, shall we? So, again, I love the shop decorations as well. Again, just all, all the, the trimming. All the shops are beautiful. All different colours as well, aren't they? As well. Mm. And did I just notice... Like, yeah, everything is different. Dragon. Got a dragon just sat Oh, there's the loads of there. dragons. There's dragons everywhere. There's just, I, I, I honestly don't know which way to turn the camera, Claire, because there's that many things to look at. I'm concerned that I am going to miss something in this park because it's just the nature of the park that there's so much detail. It's hard to to look at everything. My mm. eyes are just going all over the screen. It's just insane. I'm seeing things that I didn't see last time I looked around and like I said, I was in here for about 45 minutes. But this, this little area down here is something quite special we'll go to that in a second i was having a look at this earlier on and this just blew me away this little yeah. section here oh i found the entrance for the uh, wheel by the way this reminds me of a knight's tale the heath yes. ledger film oh such a good film i love that film absolutely love that film but yeah there's the william, entrance william, <laughs> william. <laughs> so, so the entrance here again beautiful queue again 
all the custom fencing as well. I mean, you, mm. you can't underestimate this. This is not a quick job. This is not no, no, like, no. let's decide to do it and we can do it in 10 minutes. This will have taken an hour or so to do all of mm. this. The little things like this that you can just overlook, you can't underestimate it. He said that this, he was working on this park for months. And I, I can believe it. You, you can see it, can't you? You mm, really can see really it. Really can. I love how it goes over the top as well. Now, really nice. I'm going to be a little bit tiny bit picky. And this is probably going to be the only critique of the park I am going to give you for the entire park. But maybe I would have liked to have seen just a little bit of coverage there because say like just for the realistic sense if somebody was to like lean out and chuck something off and hit somebody on the head so maybe just a little tiny bit of covering just here just as they walk underneath and it'd only need like kind of maybe some don't die fencing with a couple of wooden beams there five six pieces wouldn't need a lot but that is probably the only critique of the entire park i'm gonna give to be honest okay because I, I i'm one it. that's not a fan of the uh the realistic let's keep the uh, in-game people safe so <laughs> <laughs> claire you monster <laughs> well there you go but your park was quite realistic your park was thinking of safety uh, no that was that's some questionable areas definitely <laughs> do you know what i haven't i haven't actually started filming the ps5 version now so when i film it i'm going to be walking around thinking they're gonna die they're gonna die they're gonna die <laughs> oh, let <laughs> there is definitely some areas where if it was real that there would be some people in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, I can fully forgive not having the don't die fence and I I'm I'm on board with not having it. <laughs> peace count in the game is important. <laughs> Do you know how many peace count this park is? Well, it's a hundred percent, isn't it? So it's gonna be a, a lot. Forty thousand. Uh yeah. And it's not a big blue like size area, so no. this is this is I think my favourite. I love it up here. So I many can't clever little things. Believe what he's actually done here. Just building this mini golf course. It's just absolutely insane. The thought process that has gone on to make this, and every single hole is different as well. Yep. Every and use different one. things so like he's used windows to create ramps and he's used the stockade so that the ball would go through the holes but it's completely buried in the floor i i did i went around picking this area apart because i was just like this is so clever like the different pieces that have been used to create things i love seeing people really think outside the box and create these different things i mean none of the guests can use it but does it matter? Does it honestly matter? Because when you look at it like this, it's just so original and unique to see things like this. I've, I've not seen anyone build a mini golf course like this. Now, I did see somebody build a golf course. Um, there was one in a spotlight that me and Chrissy did a couple of months ago. And somebody built a golf course on the outside of their park. But not like a... I mean, how many holes is this? About nine holes, is it? I, I haven't actually counted. I think there's more than that. There's there's quite a few. It's One, like two, two or three, three areas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Must be a ten, maybe. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how many there are. It's just amazing. A lot. Doesn't actually matter. It's just fantastic so original so unique so well executed as well the way that he's used the wooden roof tiles underneath mm. each of them as well just fantastic using the natural path as well superb and if you come up here as well and we have a look at this now this looks like hobbiton up here mm. oh there's bilbo that does look like Bilbo's. I the actually, green door. I actually think it is supposed to be Hobbiton, isn't it? Oh, it's Bilbo's house. There we go. Don't I hadn't noticed that London. when I looked round. It's just brilliant. Oh. I wonder if there's anything inside. I'm going on an adventure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh how clever is that? So he's used the carousel horse, <gasps> ah. turned it sideways... For the handle ah. on the door now ah. that the, the thought to have just done that alone is insane i can't again 
I can't quite believe what I'm looking at. And what a sight line at the park this gives as well. <gasps> Do you know what? I think I may have just found my thumbnail around here somewhere. I don't know. This park has got about 300 different places I can get a thumbnail yeah. from. Yeah. It's just so good. But, right. So we've had a look at the mini golf course. So let's start heading back, shall we? Even just this sign here, you know, for the mini golf course. It's how, lovely. How cool is that? And all individual wooden planks as well, look. Going around. Just, Very clever. Just insane. Right, so we walk back down here. We've got the coaster that comes right over the top of us as well. I'm going to stay a little bit higher this time now, just so we can start seeing a little bit more. I, I, I don't even know what to say about this. It's just so good. Just... It's very fitting as well because the big castles usually have a maze or something attached. Mm -hmm. So it, it it doesn't feel out of place. It's not just been put there for the sake of it. It, it feels right for the park. I would have never noticed that if we hadn't come a little bit higher either. So this building Lovely. here is just built all this on top of it as well. And that building doesn't even serve a purpose. That building is just decorative only. There's no mm -hmm. shops in it or nothing like that. It's even thought about putting security cameras in as well. Uh, smoke coming out the chimneys. Just all those little touches that just make it feel immersive. But I mean, that building itself, it's, it's not an easy shape to make, is it? It's not just a square building. I wonder, I wonder how many... Um, don't select the tree, May. So each side... So, right, so there's 30 pieces. So some there, some there. So 15 pieces per bit. And then obviously it's rotated that all the way around. So that's a couple of hundred mm -hmm. pieces just, just mm -hmm. for that alone. And then obviously we've got water features in the park as well, dotted throughout the park. So of course I'm happy because there's water around. Oh, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, what's in there? What is it? Staff building maybe? Oh, a couple of staff rooms. Yeah. Just hidden, just in there. And I can see the lights of the uh, flat ride just there as well. Just how he's like packed all this in is insane. Now, Very clever. right, we are going to something now that Claire pointed out to me before we even started spotlighting, and this blew and this my boggles tiny my brain. little mind. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, am I even going <laughs> the right way? These are the stupid things I think about as well when I'm looking around parks. I was just like, oh, where are we? There's a wrong side. I'm, I'm going up the exit, so yeah. we'll, we'll carry on walking down. I was going the wrong way. But it did. It This boggled my brain when I found this. I couldn't, I had to pick it apart. because so I was like, how, how, where are these in game? I've been looking for something like this. So we have the sewers featuring Hobo Billy. So Hobo Billy being the creator of the Simpsons Tropical Park. Now, Hobo Billy has just got a PS5 a couple of weeks ago. And I believe he is pimping simpsons tropical park and making it a ps5 version so i am Ooh. so excited for that you have no idea how excited i am for that he's building a whole marvel section in the park so i can't wait wow. to see that but look at this flat ride again integrated just so beautifully you you, you barely notice it when it's actually vertical like that mm. you can almost be remiss and missing it it's mm -hmm. that beautifully done and that well integrated it's just fantastic and i've walked past the thing and if you that... quickly yeah just so, pop down the yeah stairs. i was gonna say i walked past it i was trying to look for it and walk past it Th that yes. clever do so i clever do i take the part and show people how he's done this oh you've got to because seriously to. this this confused me for a long time i was like where are these in game these right these are not in game so if i delete one of them and see if people can work out what it is. So that is just the one piece. I didn't even know this was a mm -hmm. piece in the game. Don't even recognize it. No, I didn't. It's a chimney base. But they what used I'll, it for three what, things. Yeah. Three. Ugh, clever. It's, just, uh, it's, it's ludicrous. So he's used it obviously as the actual wall piece. He's used it as a place for the picture there 
just in that little indentation there and then at the very top i can't even put it back but you know what i mean and then at the very top is use the top bit for planter mm. where do you even start with thinking who looks at a piece like that who would take a piece like that and go do you know what i can do with that i'm going to use that for three different things a wall a picture <laughs> and a planter where why would you even think of that it's just crazy absolutely oh, just, crazy seriously I, I i spent a good like five ten minutes just staring at it before i thought to myself i'm gonna have to take it apart just like that what so clever and i still don't know where that bit is in game i'm gonna have to go and have a look because who knew who knew i i the architecture in this park blows my mind I, I don't know how he does it it's it's some of the best architecture i've ever seen now the funniest thing is i did a spotlight on monday with planet plipcam and that was an xbox park funnily enough the first xbox park that i've done so if you haven't go and check that out plug plug but in that spotlight i said oh well we've only just reached january and already this is a we're the contender for top 10 parks of 2022 and then we come to this park and <laughs> i mean let's be honest here if this was released if i was looking at this last year this would have been a top three parks of the year and rightfully so yeah I i've only done I... two spotlights in 2022 two spotlights and already i've got two contenders for parks of the year and i've got another 12 months worth of spotlights to go yet I, I don't know how people do it. I genuinely do not know how people do it. It's just beautiful. It's just so many touches. The flags all of the way along. The foliage. The balconies. Well, the windows. Just, just details everywhere. I mean, this spotlight might be... I mean, people might be watching this and thinking, Matt, you're not really doing the spotlight the same way that you normally do? You're a little bit all over the place? Yes, I am a little bit all over the place because I just don't know where to look because I want to look <laughs> at everything. I want to spend 20 minutes looking at everything. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. Uh, wow. Look at the ceiling. He's put panels on the ceiling. And it's not even all straight either. No. This is next level stuff. Next level stuff. I'm quite careful now with using the phrase. This is one of my favourite parks I've ever seen, because when you, <laughs> when you keep when you keep saying it, it loses its meaning, <laughs> and you can't always say like, "Oh, this is one of the best parks I've ever seen," because people will be like, "Well, you say that about everything." And it just loses its effect. It loses its meaning and, and specialness. But mm. this is one of the best things I've ever seen. This is <laughs> insane. But anyway, let's have a look at the stats. Shall we? I, I don't care. I'm not looking at stats. Nobody cares about stats. They're You're not, not that seeing bad. Them. I think they were good, if I remember. Okay, fine. Stats are good. Stats are good. There you go. I didn't care. They could have been. They could have literally been red across the board. I wouldn't have cared. So. Without further ado, let's go for a ride on this. Enjoy, everybody.
where do I even begin with that? What words can I actually use to describe that ride? Sensational, amazing, fantastic, all of the above. Absolutely fantastic. The actual ride itself was really good. Very smooth, very well transitioned, some really nice banking all the way around. Just the sight lines that it gives of the entire park, the lighting, the, the list goes on and on and on. I can't quite believe what we just went on. It, it was an experience. It didn't feel like a ride, it felt like an experience. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I, I don't know what else to say. Claire, can you form some kind of coherent words to describe that? <laughs> I, I mean, most of what you said there is, is spot on with how I feel. I, I loved as well the music choice. Um, I thought it worked really well for the coaster, for the feel of the park. And it it fit the flow of the coaster as well. So the music really added to, to the effects and the experience of riding everything. Um, and no, it was just, just beautiful everywhere you look. I love the interaction with the whole park mm. and and as we were going around that ride i was saying to claire kind of going back to the point that we had earlier on when you were like kind of talking about the depth of the park this ride makes the park feel massive because of course yeah, you're going really around does. a lot of the park to, aren't you on this one ride and it makes the whole park feel huge but it's but it's not and i just think it's so cleverly done i'm trying to follow the track because you know where I'm trying to get to don't you you know what I'm trying yeah. to do I'm trying to go underground because yeah. I, I, I was not expecting that at all now for anyone that doesn't know whenever I do park spotlights I don't ride coasters until I do the spotlights so I won't go on a ride like kind of pre-filming and then come in and be like pretend to give thoughts I will literally go on a coaster and give thoughts there and then straight away which is sometimes why I can't form coherent sentences and this I just I wasn't expecting it at all I did not know that this was here just incredible absolutely insane I love this yeah just so well hidden underneath and what it, was it's a real was feature this? Sorry, Claire, I was talking over you. Sorry, it's go a on. real feature. Sorry, how it pulls back, you know, and then you get the big reveal as it shoots forwards. That's awesome, isn't it? Bit creepy, but awesome. And then you come down here. I, I, I didn't realise this ride was so big before we went on it. I genuinely didn't. It's quite a big ride, isn't it? Yeah, and it, like you say, it goes into absolutely everything. And it covers so many different fields, like how you drop down into this subterranean level. It feels completely different, a lot darker than everything that's going on above. And this is the same with the buildings above. They've all got their own characters set in zones and again, making the park feel, feel a lot larger than it is. Yeah, I, I don't think we can gush over this ride anymore than what we've already have done, to be honest. Now, Claire, what do you think? Shall we finish the rest of the park at night, do you think? Because I don't believe yeah, we've got that the much more to look beautiful. at. Let's just have a very no, quick overview. and the overview. lighting's really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love the pinks and the blues together. That really pops on the castle. This is the kind of lighting that I would associate, again, with either yourself or Jasmine from M&J Games. Again, foliage and lighting. Um, I kind of always kind of like think of you guys. And this kind of actually makes me think a little bit of Fantasy Falls and parks that Jasmine does as well. Because Jasmine always mm. does her nighttime parks, doesn't she? Mm. Oh, but the, the lighting in the game can be spectacular. It can be annoying. Oh, it can be annoying at I mean, especially with signs and things, how it hides the uh, the writing and it all goes black. But 
it can be really beautiful as well and this is beautiful yeah just that sight line as you come out this exit as well yeah sorry Albris. i know you said to do the whole park at 10 45 a.m but i've made an executive decision to keep it at night because it's just sensational like this it's just so beautiful it's it, really really pretty look at the walkway as well the water it feature it needs to be looked at um oh, it just makes me happy this park is just making me happy i i do you know what i completely agree with that sentiment yeah i've been smiling all the way through this spotlight more than i think disbelief of what i'm looking at once again i've said it i've said it before i'm most likely gonna say it again i can't believe what people create on this game i genuinely can't people's imaginations are insane and the fact that we've got this type of game on a console that has always been this type of game has always been dominated by pc players i just love the fact that mm. these console players now have the luxury of creating these incredible things and using their imaginations like this it's just fantastic oh whoops well, watch the basket a, a plant pot. no it's it's really nice and i think i think that's it though i think the majority of console players that are playing at the moment we watched the uh pc guys we saw their youtube videos and I longed for this game for a long time before it came out. And I, th I think most of the community did. And yeah. I think that's why the level is so high, because we wanted it. We, we wanted to be able to build like this. No other games have really ever given this experience. And, you know, we're, we're using it. <laughs> we are certainly using it to maximum effect. That is for certain. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've never, I don't know another game such as this on the console. Now, I know, of course, we have City Skylines, um, mm. but I don't think it obviously gives the level of creativity that this does. Now, that is a good game, don't get me wrong. Before people start turning off and start leaving hateful comments down below, like, oh, my City Skylines is amazing. Oh, yes, it is a good game. I love it. I played it quite a lot. But it didn't give quite the level of creativity that this does. Not the same like intricate details that this does no the fact that you can really just put everything together overlap things build exactly what you want no other game has really ever given that i don't think not not on the console roll on planet zoo mm, i cannot wait i love so. this area up here you know i do it's again it's just a nice touch and this area over here is just shops and i think it mainly just works as a viewpoint for the coaster Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's a great view, so why wouldn't you? Um, I don't know how or where I'm going to get a thumbnail for this park. Because there's hundreds of places I could get a thumbnail for this park. There's, I don't think there's a single area of the park that is not detailed. Not one. No, not there's... a single. Even like kind of, if, right, we're walking down this path here. You look left. Detail. Box foliage look right detail foliage rocks and it's like that around the entire park mm -hmm. there's not even a single square foot that hasn't been decorated so that takes us back down to the main entrance now i believe up there Claire, we haven't been up here yeah. We have only so got this one ride? little path yeah i think there's one more flat one see i didn't even know that was there you know Legitimately did not know that flat ride was there. How cool does that look? It's very cool and I think it's a bit more sort of creepy. This mm. top area, you've got a grave digger, I think, down there. Grave oh, it's called Grave Robber. Ah, he's robbing the graves then. That no, that makes sense. Shovel. And again, just a nice little queue as well. Every queue in the park has been different. And just nice little queue line just comes out here just yeah I, i'm running out of positive words claire i need to uh 
do my homework and start studying the English dictionary, I think, to start finding more positive words. <laughs> because in parts oh, well, like this, I've run out of I'm them. I'm the same. I always just go, oh, it's beautiful. It's so nice. I get in trouble for saying nice, but things that look, they just look really nice and beautiful and I like it. And this is one of those parks, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. So we've come back to the main entrance and there's just this one little ride just left, just to the side here. I love and that And I skin. love what he's done on top. I know. Can we look at this in the daytime quickly? Yeah, Matthew? of course we can. It's just lovely at day. Yeah. So many details on it. And it, it again, it just sinks it into the park. If you were just walking past. You could be forgiven for not seeing that so right. Yeah. And, and when you come down the queue path as well, the car has got all the rocks protruding through the wall as well. Mm. And then we've got the daffodils or dandelions or whatever they are. Flowers. We've got the flowers just there. Yeah. I'd say they're daffs. They look quite a lot like Yeah. A daff. it's, it's just beautiful. Absolutely incredible ride skin. Again. I can't stop gushing over this park. I, I think we need to start thinking about wrapping the spotlight up because otherwise I'm going to be here till the next spotlight comes out on Friday just gushing over this park because it's just so good. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Now, Claire. Yes. Three word park review. Oh. Oh, it's tricky because there's so many words that could be used for this, but I would say detailed, intricate, beautiful. Very nice. Mm. I would say, see, I have to think of my own before I ask other people. I really should be thinking of these little things. When I ask other people for three-way <laughs> parties, I should think of one myself. Put, put me on the spot and you haven't thought yourself. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I would say best architecture ever because mm. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this it's not just it's not just the fact of all the trimming and all the differing pieces it's not just that because there's a lot of talented people in this game who can do stuff like that but it's these little tiny curves as well mm -hmm. the little tiny changes to make it like you pointed out um, around here, how it's got these little tiny curvatures there as well. It's just so impressive how he has I think manipulated he used the doors to you to, to do that because obviously they can no. take on Yeah. No. What? I would have never thought of that. So how many pieces would this building take up then? Not the ride, mate. Probably quite a few. Not the ride, Matty. I think it's going to... Not the ride, Matty. There we go. <laughs> 85 pieces. For that one little bit. Oh, and the windows. Oh, I lighted well, some go. windows there. That's a good view. But still. I'm intrigued now. Hang on. Change the camera mode. Oh, hang on. All right, there you go. I'm intrigued to see how many pieces... A couple of thousand pieces just for that alone. There you go, 1,600 pieces for that. Worth it. Yeah, that uh, that's Worth actually a lot it. less than I thought, if I'm going to be honest. I thought that was going to be a lot more than that. But yeah, absolutely superb. Fantastic job, Warren. Um, you really smashed this park. Stroke Albris for chipping in and helping every now and then, I guess. <laughs> but thank you ever so much, Claire, for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the channel. And I hope you come and join me again for another spotlight one time thank as well. Thank you for having me. It's been uh, it's been fun. Thank you. Definitely. You're more than welcome. And everybody, make sure to check out Claire's Fantasy Falls Park. So again, I'll leave the PlayStation 4 link down below. And on Friday, there will be the PS5 version. Now, I won't go into the same level of detail in the PS5 version because, of course, I will have covered a lot of it already in the PS4 version. So you may need to, like, potentially watch both to get the true full experience. <laughs> but without further ado, we need to close out this video. So thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you on Friday for Fantasy Falls PS5. Say goodbye, Claire. Bye.
Bye. Bye, everybody.